With Odo Sales, it is very easy to include your default terms and conditions on every quotation, sale order, and invoice that you manage in your business. So specifying terms and conditions is really important to set out some points like payment terms, then delivery terms between customers and sellers. So sellers and customers must take note of all these conditions. So let's open accounting. Go to configuration settings. There you can view the option default terms and conditions. So you can add your terms and conditions at the bottom of your orders, sale orders, quotations, or invoices. So we can either add a note or add a link to a web page. So here we can view the URL or you can add a default note. Now if you open sale orders or quotations, so if you create a quotation, here you can find the URL of terms and conditions that we have set as default from the configuration settings. And you can also add your own terms and conditions below. So I've added a terms and condition, prices and taxes. The price set in the quotation are in Indian rupee. All taxes should be paid by the customer in addition to the price. And if any payment by the customer is subject to withholding tax, then the customer agrees to increase the amount of any payment which is subject to a withholding. So here inside the invoice also you can provide terms and conditions. So this one is a default one. Here below also you can add terms and conditions for this quotation, sorry, for this invoice. Same way, according to your business needs, you can specify your terms and conditions on your quotation template. So here you can add your terms and conditions for the quotation template. Now here under confirmation, you can find option to add your confirmation mail template. So here I'm choosing sale order send by email template. So we can create and edit email templates to set a default attachment for all quotation emails that you will send in future. So here you have the possibility to configure the default attachment and there you can put your general terms and conditions. So you can attach files which will be added to all emails created from this template. Now let's save this and let's create a quotation.
by adding the quotation template. Now let's save this and send this quotation as email to customer. So you can see automatically that attachment, that is our terms and conditions are attached with the email. This is because we have set this attachment as a default attachment for this send by email template. And you can also add more attachment to this email by clicking on this attach a file and upload your PDF. And you can also create general terms and conditions on your website. So you can use website applications and create your own general terms and conditions page. So when you go to website, where you can create a new page. Here you can add build, building blocks. So here you can add your terms and conditions and save the page. Then publish this page on the website. Now let's go to general settings. And from here, we can just search for layout. So here you can configure document layout. So here you have the option to add footer. So you can refer to uh, the page that is terms and conditions page in the footer of all your documents. So here you can just paste the link. That is the URL of the terms and condition page that you have created. So the footer appears in every document from Odo. So that's how we create a custom terms and condition uh, web page on your website. And in Odo, we have a default web page for standard terms and conditions that you have seen before. That is when you go to accounting configuration settings. Here you can see the URL. So we can uh, preview or click on edit to edit that page in Website Builder. So you can find that page. And here you can find the uh, standard terms and conditions added for sale. So you can edit these terms and conditions from here itself and you can save the page and this will be reflected. So that's how we add terms and conditions in Odo 15.